and it's headphones nail. What's up guys, welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a bit of a hodgepodge of reviews, but we have one bit of transition, one sequel, and the usual sorts of things like that. So to start it off, I had a chance to watch Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver, and overall it felt like more of a continuation of Part 1 until we get to the end where we get a little bit more story to lead us into the next film so we learn that the princess isa is still alive we get more scenes with the king um the main bad guy admiral guy has been defeated um the plan that the um that the lady and the rest of the people put together ends up working because of their various things that they were trying to do so overall it rounded out nicely but the first half of the film was a bit of a drag because it felt very much like it was stuff still for the first movie so with that being said I didn't think it was terrible or great I'd probably give it about a B minus or so just because it does set up the next film nicely and it was more of a continuation of the first film but in net for the first two parts overall good films as far as the director's cuts go um i would say watch it but it is a very long film there's a lot of stuff that's done in slow motion a lot of um setup and um and now I'm drawing a blank on the word but they're basically just doing a lot of setup for things so they go into great detail they keep um rounding it out fleshing out characters and all that so um it is very much lord of the ring-esque when where they do like draw out all that stuff and um present it in a way so that by the time it pays off it works out nicely um as far as the gore and stuff like that it was fine i mean it does play well into the into everything but they don't go crazy with it to the point where it's not like in every scene so they don't have it where it's not needed and things like that but um i actually so that, with that being said i can't wait for the next part to see how it goes but um decent films and like i said before it's not doesn't really remind me of star wars it does feel very much like um a dune film um so with that being said, I mean, you can kind of say that the blades that they use are kind of like lightsabers, but they feel more like electro staffs than anything else. So that is more of my take on that. Um, I did have a chance to also play Roller Coaster Tycoon. I played the Emerald Group level Paradise Pier. Overall, an easy level. It does seem kind of hard because you do have the pathways on the water. But if you basically start with some small rides to get the guests in the park, start building simple roller coasters, put the log flume on and put the roller coaster and the log flume on the outside and leave the inside parts for the smaller rides, then it's easy to um, um, complete the task. You get a lot of people into in the park. Um, you can put a couple of bigger rides in like underneath the pathways and stuff um it gets a little bit tricky because it is a small map but if you get creative with it then by the time you get to the end of the map then you have enough guests in the park the park waiting is good you make enough money as well to hire enough cleaning staff and because you don't have a lot of places to go the parks generally stays pretty clean so nothing really major to talk about that it's just a little bit weird building on the water and you have to adjust the height of things and it's a little bit off with the visuals of it but once you get used to it then it is pretty easy to get enough people in the park um as far as the monthly knots update goes not too much going on it's just the middle of summer we're rounding out um, ghost town alive or we're still in the middle of ghost town alive we're going to start making the transition into halloween 
So look out for that stuff probably coming in the next month, month and a half. But since the Camp Snoopy stuff is done, as far as the renovations go, you can check out a lot of that stuff. Um, there's still a couple of things here and there that they're working on, but for the most part, most of Camp Snoopy is um, open. And then the Montezuma's Revenge um, renovations are in progress. You do st see some of the scaffolding and um, coverage going up um, around that area as far as what they're going to do with that renovation so it looks like that is all still in progress um as far as the gameplay for this week i did have a chance to play or finish playing pirate doom i did a push to finish that off just because um we got a announcement in the form of doom 1 and 2 getting a re-release with um, an improved menu option, graphics, frame rates by default, and things like that, along with a new or a couple new chapters called or via Legacy of Rust. So I pushed through Pirate Doom. Overall, it is a very good mod. Um, they basically build a pirate story around the Doom um, characters and all of that. So um, a, a fake pirate turns humans into the hell demons. And you have to defeat them to turn him back. So overall, a lighthearted and fun mod for Doom 2. So the full gameplay is now up on YouTube. You can check it out on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash patelln01. And so to round it out, um, so in the past approximately week, we got the surprise announcement of the Doom 1 and 2 getting re-released together. You know, you get, it got some up, update, slightly upgraded graphics, um, 60 frames per second by default. A bunch of mods are packaged in together. So, you know, TNT Evolution, Sigil, and a few others. But if you get a few new, or uh, two new chapters in the um, scope of the first two games called Legacy of Rust. Um, it does also have um, um, two, it's basically two chapters in um, that mod, and I'm sorry, I didn't have it pulled up, so I'm pulling it up now. But um, you have two new cha um, chapters to play with, or two new episodes to play, where um, you have to, it continues the story. So I started playing the first, so as of this recording, there's probably a couple of gameplays up um the first one was pretty straightforward it's like the back offices is very reminiscent of doom one the first chapter hangar so um you while that initial part of the level doesn't feel anything special the latter part of the um level does feel particularly intriguing with what the graphic upgrades can do and some of the modifications that they implemented for um implementing new weapons and new demons and stuff that are going to come later um and the two chapters are called the vulcan shore or sorry the vulcan abyss and counterfeit eden so kind of a garden of eden type um theme for the two levels um and then as far as the second map goes it is a little bit uh, bigger and longer a little bit more difficult to play um i did have to pause the recording to poke around because i was running in circles i wasn't sure where to go i got the red key i couldn't find the exit um and then i did do a quick search online for a hint on what to do so i found i guess what looks like the secret exit so I'll play that. I might try and go, if I have my save game, I might try and go back and see if I can find a way to just the regular third level in the mod. But um, yeah, the second level does get very tricky and big compared to the first really fast, but it's still a very nicely designed level. You do have to, there is a puzzle in there where you have to lower, um, or you have to raise one platform and then go around to raise to the other side of it to raise the other platform. But if you do it wrong, you have to lower the first one, go around to lower the second one, then go back, uh, raise the first one, and then the second one so you can proceed with the level. So overall, the level design is still very good. It's just a weirdly tricky one to have as a second map. I would have expected that to be a little bit later, but I'm still going to play through it, see how it goes. But overall, I'm... Um, enjoying it quite a bit so with that being said that is all for this particular episode so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that you can uh, comment on the social media sites all the links are uh, linked on the website at headphonesneal.reviews um, 
You can support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash n one for early access. Um, link to the video version if you want, an uh, ad-free version of it and all of that. Um, as, but if you, you know, want to support the show, um, check out past episodes and all of that. Everything is linked on the website at headphonesnail.reviews. But that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.